Hey guys, welcome to my car. <laughs> Thought I would update you in here. Really quickly, side note, I'm watching, not watching, I'm listening to the podcast Up and Vanished. Highly recommend. Download it, it's really good. I'm on like episode 11 and I'm like, oh, I don't want to press pause, but I have to go get my hair done. I am finally dying and cutting my hair today after a year of not doing either of those. Um, I have a girl, Danielle, that is gonna do it and I am so excited and so nervous. I keep changing my mind on what I wanna do. Ugh, but I'm gonna bring you through the entire process because I know when I dyed my hair last, I should have filmed it because the amount of questions I got throughout the entire year on what I did to my hair to go dark, there was a lot. So I'm just gonna film the entire process so you can see the exact color, the technique, the cut, everything, and then I can always just refer you to this video if you're curious on, well, if you like my hair. <laughs> um, so I need to find this place, so <laughs> I'll update you guys when I get there. All right, I'm here, say hello. Hey! <laughs> so we are just going through what we're gonna do. Look at <laughs> Like the color is, I think the extensions helped so much with like disguising what was going on. So when I was going through photos, I know for sure, I don't love ombre, especially when it's like shorter. Like I definitely want the color to come up as close as possible, but I do wear a middle part. So like, even if we do a root smudge, like at mm -hmm. the, with the toner yeah. or something. Are you wanting to go like the same length, like straight blank cut the whole way around or All longer the way. at the front? Well, let's try longer at the front for now. And then if I feel like exactly. it's not ideal, then. Sometimes it, it does make it look a wee bit thicker whenever you're completely straight Yeah, the way and around. I think I just want to so. do it like might as well. And you know what? Extensions can be clipped in yeah. for like events and, and whatnot. No, point in going metal length. no, I know. Like, I don't think I want to go like above my shoulders. But then I feel like in yeah. a week I could be like, oh my gosh, why didn't we go shorter? Yeah. So Should I was like, you that? can't, you can't yeah. go longer. So let's start the smallest amount coming off. This I felt like was a really accurate of like what I have mm -hmm. and like what I want. As light as that. Could you go that light? That's very light. Like, I would nearly say that's full hair highlights. You think that's too light? Whenever that's growing out, you know you're going to have quite... What about like, a contrast? like this? See, something like that. Yes. Like that? See, I'm seeing that more. Okay, which is still pretty dramatic. How many foils do you think we used? A hundred. <laughs> I'd say it was about a hundred, yeah. And you just went through and missed the layer mm -hmm. and started a layer and just weaved it? Yep. Right up to the top. Quite fine. See, it left it really clean. Do you see that? Right here? Oh yeah. So what does lifting clean mean? So some of them can lift like really warm, so like a yellowy orange, that it might need a little bit longer under heat. Yeah. But, but it lifted quite good. It's lifted really well, yeah. See it? Yeah. Like it's like, you know, you can you could get away with nearly not toning that. Do you know what I mean? So my hair is good at lifting. Yeah. <laughs> so you're just putting a wee old This is just yeah. Yeah. So what toner do you think you're gonna use on it then? So I am using um I'm gonna use like a wee rip smudge knot in the front. I'm leaving that like really nice and light like that. Mm -hmm. And it is color touch seven one. And then the what's gonna be like through your mid length and ends and probably through this wee front bit as well. 
is Wella Illumina 1069 and a wee touch of 960. Perfect. I'll link that all in the description. So if you're curious, obviously yeah. you're going to have to do the right thing for your hair and your hair color. Um, yeah. But you can all like always just bring what she used on my hair color to your hairdresser and I'm sure she could find something similar. <laughs> Going through and root smudging. Yeah. And this basically just eliminates that stripey look, especially if you're a middle part wearer like me. It's a great little hack. So this is the, the other two toners mix for yeah. the mid to ends. It gives it a wee bit of shine as well. An Illumina color is really, really good for shine. A wee bit more of the premium toners in Wella, but it's lovely. It looks so healthy. You totally just hit the ball out of the park. I was nervous. You just were like, nervous. I was, because like a year, a year is a long time and it becomes like a comfort, you know, like of what you're used to. Do you remember what I said at the beginning? Like this length, I'm starting to love it straight. Yeah. Oh. 